Hi everybody. <laughs> so once again I took a little break from the sauna and um, welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. I'm in here not that long and I'm already so thirsty and I forgot my water. You have to drink a lot of water in the infrared sauna. <sighs> anyway, um, so I'm back in and the reason I took some time off is because well, let me just back up. If you have never tuned in, this is where I sit in my infrared sauna at like 130 whatever degrees and I sweat and I meditate and I talk about spiritual topics so that I can keep my keep my focus and keep my um, wits about me in really intense times. And I hope that everybody else gets, you know, some information about what they need to do as well. That's the point. My cat, she's like... Let me see if I can see her. Hello, codfish. <laughs> anyway, woo, I digress. Okay, so that's what I do in here. So today I wanted to talk about, well, number one, I was, I took a couple more days off and it's because um, I had to do something else to try to bring in revenue, right? So, um... I was going to go back to an old sort of career that I had that I did really well at and so that I could make the income that I need to do so that I can continue to do this and continue to do other stuff. I do readings as well, but they don't pay all my bills, but I'm a little bougie. I live a little large. I can't, you know, whatever. Anywho, so today's topic is about money and manifesting. And I had been through a period where I really just felt at peace financially for a minute and um, knowing that I had a certain amount of time before I needed to really start generating significant income again. And um, I decided to go back to this whole career, right? Well, it's taking so much longer to get certified again because of new regulations and this and that, <clears throat> that it's taking me past the point where I really wanted to be making, you know, some significant income again. And while I'm build building this business and building my reading business back up to a place where it's, you know, really sustaining me, um, I thought, well, I'm going to focus on something else that I know will bring in money, not my primary passion, mind you. And so today I was going to talk in my vlog about money and sometimes, you know, and, and I've always been of the belief that if you do what you love, the money will come, right? And I totally firmly believe that because your heart's in it and you're, you're just, you feel good doing it. Like I love doing my vlog. I love doing readings. It's so rewarding. I help people, da, 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 da. Okay. So, but it's not paying all my bills, right? And I'd rather make more money than live with less because I feel so happy in my environment, my house, my, my whole thing. So my topic today was going to be that sometimes you have to divert your attention from your passion to bring in the revenue or whatever it is to, to sustain until your passion builds into a place that it can come back and support you. And sometimes you just need to have that boost of energy to do that. Well, when I was thinking about that, I thought, why? Why? Why can't we just manifest with our passion, right? And I know that it takes 100% focus. And I know that it takes all your heart chakra energy being open and abundant and in gratitude while you're doing the thing that you love. I know all this, okay? So I was thinking to myself, well, I'm going to talk about this topic, but it doesn't exactly ring true to me. And then I found out this morning, right before I did this vlog, <sighs> that it's going to take me another 30 days to get certified, to go back to this old career that whatever. And so that's forcing me 
to say, okay, well, I can't focus on that now because I got 30 days before I can even move forward with that. I got to focus on the here and now and bring money in the here and now. And the way to do it is through my readings and through the things that I love. So I guess the message today is to let spirit be your guide because you will always, always be guided so precisely in the direction that is the best for your is that for your highest good and your highest spiritual evolution and your highest expansion of consciousness. I mean, I believe that. And so, while we want to control situations sometimes and try to make things happen according to our schedule or according to what we think is supposed to happen, spirit will always keep us in alignment if we listen. Right? So me being not able to move forward with this old career to try to bring in money now, it's like spirit wants me to focus on my true passion, which is doing readings, being of service, doing the energy work, working with crystals, giving spiritual advice, la 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 la, and doing my vlog. Okay. So, um, especially doing readings. I'm so good at it. It's like crazy. <laughs> and so, um, and so being of service is really where I want to focus my energy and not have it be completely about making money, but have it be about that cycle of being in gratitude and receiving. Um, so anyway, I guess the message today is to let spirit be your guide. You feel it in your heart when it's right. You'll feel it in your heart expanding in an abundant, beautiful, full feeling when you know you're on the right track. Okay. And so even though you may question me like, Oh my God, I know I'm supposed to change a little, you can just say, that's what's supposed to happen and have the faith that it's all, all going to work out. I mean, it always does, doesn't it? It always does. So that's the message today. I'm going to sit in here and meditate on it. I'm going to sit in here and meditate on a plan to really definitively bring in Delray me with my passion in the immediate and let the other alternative career take its time and its due course it'll come too. That's my message. I hope I'm being of service to you. I'm glad I'm back again. Please be patient with me. We're all kind of making our way through this intense energy. It has stabilized a little bit, but you know, it's been a ride. <laughs> Anyway, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And um, thanks for tuning in. <gasps>